So, brake lines. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything I did to create these custom stainless steel lines for my 280Z. Now, the main reason I'm doing completely custom brake lines in here is because the VQ35 swap I'm doing completely changes the layout of everything here in the engine bay. Everything from the steering rack to all the brake line components that were over here, everything has to get kind of moved around. The other side of it is I really like for everything to look really clean and tucked away, and this is a great opportunity to do exactly that. Now, if you are someone with an S30, whether it's a 240, 260, or 280, and you want stainless steel brake lines like I've done, but you want the factory style and all that came in the car, uh, you can find exactly that at places like Z Car Depot. Uh, they offer entire kits with every single component that you need. Now the things that you need to know if you're going to do this like I've done is one, everything I've used as far as hardware is in standard. The main reason for this is all the wheelwood components I'm using are all in standard. Everything from the calipers to the master cylinder. So by doing everything in a standard format has made it a lot easier and a lot cleaner. So that means I'm using 3 16 stainless steel line and 5 16 stainless steel fittings. And those match up perfectly well to all the calipers, the master cylinder, everything else. Now this also includes using a Willwood proportioning valve and a T-valve at the rear of the car also are in standard. Now second and probably most important thing to this whole thing is you must double flare all your brake lines. The problem with single flare fittings is they will not stand the tolerances that are undergone in a brake line system. So they have a tendency to split, rupture, all things that you don't want happening to your brakes. Now lastly and most importantly is if you're doing a rear disc conversion like I've done here, you need to remove these. These are little check valves that are in every master cylinder, whether they're the 7 8 or the 1 inch wheel wood like I'm running. These things are there and put in place for rear drum brake setups. If you're doing a disc brake conversion, you need to remove these, otherwise you have the potential of locking your rear wheels under braking. Now if you are looking to build your own brake lines, or any hard lines for that matter, you are going to need a tool to do your flaring. Now I know a lot of the cheaper tools out there look really appealing. Um, I had very little luck in doing any flares with this type of tool. As a matter of fact, this thing actually completely fell to pieces on me and broke in almost every manner. Now the problems I was having with it was I could never get enough pressure on the line itself to actually hold it in place. So every time I would try to do a flare on it, it would just push it right through. By the time I was able to get enough pressure on these things to actually hold it in place to do the flare, they completely crumbled, all the hardware fell apart and it's just not the best quality tool for this. Now I'm someone who really likes to invest in their tools and I ended up going for this. This is a super nice flaring tool that I really, really enjoy. Um, I love that all of the dies are on a dial. It's super easy to use, but most importantly, it has the ability to repeatedly make the same flare every time. Now that's something that's really important to me, especially when I'm doing as many flares as I've done to do a whole car like this. Everything from the clutch line to every single brake component. Um, being able to make that same flare every time gives me a bit of peace of mind in knowing that they're not off center, they all match, they're all done very well. Now I will say this tool was $200, but if you take into account that and all the hard line I purchased to do all this, I still came out cheaper than buying the full stainless steel set that you could get from like Z Car Depot. So that may be something you want to consider when you're purchasing your tools is this does have some longevity to it, this is something I can use in the next project, either for brakes, fuel lines, any type of hard line, this has everything I could need for it. So an investment up front allows me to have this down the road and it allows me a particular skill set that I didn't have before. Now if you're interested in this tool, I'll leave a link down in the description for where you can find it. Again, this is something that I think is really advantageous for someone looking to do hard lines. It's something that's really reliable and it's, it's, it's going to last really well and build exactly what you want as far as your flares. Now along with all of the hard lines and the major components for the braking system, one thing I was kind of having trouble with was finding mounts to mount all these things here in the car. Now one thing you'll notice is I don't really use any of the original mounts that were here in the Datsun. The thing about the VQ35 and its new 6-speed is the clutch line is actually on the left hand side of the transmission compared to the right hand side of the L series engine. So basically that means that there's one less line to go across the firewall. So as a result, I thought it'd just be easier to clean everything up and build everything the way I wanted to. And I'm really happy with the end result. I think it looks really clean having two lines go across instead of the three. 
Um, everything's really tucked away like I like. Uh, really, really happy with the end result. Now my main goal for all these custom lines was really to get everything out of this inside inner wheel well and get it up out of the way for the VQ35 to live in here which also changes a bit of the steering rack and the linkage between the rack and the steering column. Now instead of using an original style proportioning valve, I used the Willwood proportioning valve which I really like. It should be able to tuck up nice out of the way and still allow me to have a more front or rear bias like I like. Now one thing I've been hearing is some people really don't like this Willwood proportioning valve. Um, I've heard that it can strip pretty easy and that there are some other problems with it. So far I've not had any issues with it, but I haven't actually run the brake system yet. So as for now, this is what I'm going with. If I need to change it in the future, I will and definitely let you guys know if uh, something happens with it. But for now, this is the setup I'm going with. Now I'm super happy with how clean this looks and how everything's nice tucked up out of the way. Um, it's something that I think looks really good and will look amazing once the VQ35 is sitting in here. Now I'll definitely show you all the video and the steps I took to building all this and installing it here in the car. Um, along with doing the full handbrake assembly. One thing I do want to mention with the handbrakes is I needed to go back and switch the left and right calipers for the handbrakes that I had installed in the Willwood video. Basically the reason for this is because of where the mounts are for the cable makes it a little more advantageous for them to be in this location. And this was something I didn't really realize at the time when I was installing them. Now also with this, I had trouble with the original fittings I had for the rear four piston Willwood calipers. Basically what was happening was there wasn't enough room between the fitting and the strut housing uh, to get the brake lines in. Now after a quick call to Silvermine Motors, those guys were awesome. They sent out these 90 degree angle fittings and all my brake components went together really easy. Um, so big shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for doing that. Uh, definitely had my back on that one. So I'll go ahead and get into a lot of the video and showing all the stuff I did for all the brake lines, all the rear end stuff I did, all the runs, um, putting all this together. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy.